Hey everyone, it's Ben with Side Effects, and today I am talking to the second place winning team of Houdini Game Jam. We have Eric, Gustav, Joachim, and Adrian. Can each of you guys tell us a little bit about who you are? Yeah, uh, so I'm Eric, and uh, I'm a technical artist at Embark Studios in Sweden. My name is Joachim, and I live in Sweden. And I've been working at the Embark Studios, which is a game company here in Stockholm, since last year. I grew up in Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, now I'm located in Stockholm, working as a technical artist for Embark Studios. I work as an environment artist at uh, Goodbye Council. And can you kind of briefly describe your second place winning game from Houdini Game Jam, Panic Shopper? Panic Shopper is a game where you have to do some last minute shopping before the store closes. You basically start in a store and you get a shopping list and uh, you have to pick up everything under a certain amount of time and then pay for it. Panic Shopper is like kind of the, the most common day stressful situation everyone finds themselves in, which is that last minute shopping when you know they're closing in five minutes. It's a really stressful, uh, stressful game and uh, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of replayability. Can you tell us how you used Houdini to make the game? We used it in a couple different ways. Uh, I used it to create, I think, three different tools. Uh, the first one was uh, a shelf tool that you could create uh, shelves for the store that had different dimensions, number of shelves, etc. Then I also made a tool for food packaging so you can make meshes and textures. And then I also made a tool for uh, uh, level design or like creating the store. The main components we had like was the generator for the actual shop. You could draw a spline to de define the shape of the, the store, which is super useful just to block out the area because being able to just draw your spline and then immediately get a, a room with nice meshes and the lighting and everything was super nice. The uh, All the stackers and all the boxes and stuff were made in Houdini. Uh, I <laughs> took it upon myself to try and model some of the stuff in Houdini because I'm not a modeler, but uh, I desperately want to try to become good at modeling Udini. So we did the shopping cart and like the counter and some of the um, freezers and all that stuff, uh, crates. Yeah, I created uh, all the signs for uh, for the store uh, with a uh, set up a HDA uh, so we could easily just uh, create a lot of signs. It went really smoothly. It was my first experience with working uh, with uh, uh, with Unreal and uh, Houdini in this way. And it was a real treat to be able to uh, uh, just bring in your digital asset and uh, create uh, yeah, a lot of different variations uh, with just one asset. And your team used PDG, which is Houdini's procedural dependency graph tool. Can you tell us about that process and how it went using PDG to make the game? I used it uh, for uh, some of the assets to create a lot of variations or basically create a big uh, uh, texture sheet. So uh, and that was, uh, for instance, for the sign, uh, sign asset I created just to get a, a lot of variation really fast. So that was probably, I think, the highlight of the, <laughs> of, of the game for me because I made uh, a tool that I thought at least was very funny to work on because it was kind of an un unorthodox weird thing. Uh, so for the food packaging, um, you could the tool took a keyword for a food product and then using some Python, it took an adjective or a describing word for that food product and combined those two. So you could get, if you put in beans, you could get brown or white or canned. So you can get, yeah. And then I also created a list with random places or random names. Uh, and then I, when I combined those three things, you could get like Russia brown beans. And then with that text result, I could feed that into uh, a cop network where I used a font node and uh, with some RGB masks and a different type of um, decals, I generated textures for food packaging. You didn't really have to come up with everything, you just made PDG give you a ton of examples and then you were like, oh, these are kind of fun, so I'm going to use these. Uh, and it's it's a fun process to like get get some creative input uh, and then go from there. 
Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today, and uh, congrats again on your Houdini Game Jam win. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.